What's up everybody, it's Matt Karma, and in this video, what I'm going to be showing you is how to overcome emotional eating. If you've ever had the time when you've been through a struggle, maybe going through a struggle constantly right now, and you've turned to food as a way to escape the pain. I'm sure you've been there, and I can relate to you, and I always have compassion for those people who go through this, because I was someone who went through this. So to give you some background, when I, very, when I first started personal training, which was five, six years ago when I was 17 years old, I remember a time where I would constantly feel unhappy, I would constantly feel stressed, these were my triggers, and I remember going to Coles in Woolworths, this is like a, sh a shopping center in Australia, and I'd go and get this Cadbury chocolate, right, this is when I used to eat dairy, and I would go, get two blocks, like massive blocks, go back into my car and eat the entire two blocks in the car within a space of 20 minutes. Now this, is, this didn't happen like once every now and then, this would happen every single week. And when I was at home, if I would feel stressed out, I'd just go and reach for bad food. So I get what people go through when they, found, when they find that they're struggling and they find that they can't overcome this pattern, there is a way that you can overcome this, which is what I'm going to show you in this video. And it's gonna be an add-on. I made a video in the past where I talked about how to overcome this with a little bit more, I used like the flip chart paper and so on. So I'll leave a card at the top if you haven't watched that. Go and watch that, but this is going to, st this is going to add on to the emotional eating side of things. Because with binge eating, binge eating can be made up, can be triggered by a multiple amounts of different triggers. It could be a location, it could be an emotion, it could be uh, a gustatory sense, it could be what you smell, taste, see, hear. All these different triggers can fire off something within you to go and reach for food, to binge eat. But emotional eating is specific to the emotions. You feel some type of emotion, stress, anger, and I want you to get very clear on what is the emotion for you. Because through awareness, you can change the pattern, but you can't change the pattern if you're not aware of what the pattern is. Oh, oh, sorry, you're not, you can't change the pattern if you're not aware of the root cause of the pattern. So on a surface level, you may think that it is the emotion that is causing you to go and eat. But I'm here to tell you, and deep down you already know this, or maybe you already know this consciously, that it is not the emotion it is what's causing the emotion that is triggering you to go and eat. There is something within you that is hurting. It's why you go and turn to food. It's why so many people distract themselves through watching Netflix, through flicking through social media, through sex, through Tinder. Some people it's food. There is something within you that's hurting. Your body is calling out for you to face off with that thing that you've been distracting yourself from. You see, I see healing emotional eating kind of like a pimple. Here's what I see. We have these emotions that we feel. And a lot of us place this moral judgment on this emotion that we shouldn't feel this. That it's bad to feel this emotion. But you need to realize that life is this wave of emotions. You have ups, you have downs. You couldn't appreciate the up if there were no downs because we live in a world of duality. And I'm sure you would agree that the biggest downs of your life always created the biggest highs. Back to the pimple analogy. We have this emotion. We stuff it down. We don't want to feel it. We, we, we shove that emotion in the closet and we close it up and we don't even want to face it. So we turn the other way and we just focus on what's in front of us rather than what's been stored in the closets. And it's the same thing with the pimple, right? You have all this pus that is stored in the skin. And what you need to do is you need to allow the pus to come out of the skin by popping it so the emotion can come up and then the healing process can begin. The only way that you're going to overcome this emotional eating, well, this is not the only way, this is one of the ways, is by facing the emotion. And one of the best ways that you can do that, my friend, is by meditating. By sitting in the emotion. And that can be very ambiguous, sitting in the emotion. What does that mean? 
What that means is, well, from my perspective, first off, sitting down, closing your eyes, with your back against the wall, just sitting up straight, closing your eyes, and just letting whatever happens, happen. Whatever emotion that comes up, let it come up. Let it come out. If you feel like crying, cry. If you need to go and get a pillow against your face and just scream your fucking face off, do it. If you need to go and punch something, punch it. Hopefully not a person, maybe a bag. But you need to let that emotion out. Because when you let the emotions out, the healing process can begin. There's been times where I went through a breakup, where I had a, a business failure, a lesson, I like to call it. But I went through so many struggles and I needed to let the emotion out. Ways that I do that while I'm driving, I will scream my face off. Ways that I will do that, I work out. But sometimes you need to be careful with working out because sometimes that can even be a distraction. You're feeling this uncomfortable emotion, you're like, shit, I'm just gonna go to the gym and work it all off. Instead of actually sitting down and just letting that emotion come up. That's one of the most effective ways for me. I just sit down, meditate, or I sit down and let the emotion come up. And I can tell you right now that I've been meditating every single day for the close to 60 days now. And there's been times where I've just bored my eyes out from things that come up in the past. And then from that, I really so much that allowed me to just feel so much freer. And also, so for those of you who have been following uh, the last video I made about probably two months ago, I made a video about my 90 day weight loss experiment. So I've lost eight kilograms now leading up to my 12 hour race, right? And I'm, I'll, I'll show the picture when I finish the 12 week program that I'm on. But I gained so much weight and the only reason why I gained weight was because I was distracting myself from all of this shit that I'm sure I'll tell, talk to you about in the future videos. I was distracting myself so much and I was emotional eating. I was going back to that 17 year old kid who would go and just stuff my face with food to distract myself from what's going on internally. You need to face off. Face off with yourself. Face off with that emotion. And again, what does that look like? Just sitting down. We are so afraid to sit. So many people can watch a horror movie. So many people can go on a roller coaster. They say that's scary, but it's exciting. But what's more scary is gaining the courage to sit down and face off with those inner demons. To face off with all that shit that you've been stuffing down for so long. My challenge to you is to sit. My challenge to you is to cry. My challenge to you is to be angry. Stop placing a moral judgment on the emotions because there is no good or bad, there is only neutral. I believe that there are, there are effective emotions and ineffective emotions. Now, anger can be a tool. Sometimes anger can be really, really effective to create change in the world. If you live in anger, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a challenging time for you. It's gonna be a challenging, like filtering the world through anger isn't the best thing. But sometimes you just need to get yourself in that emotion to let that stuff come up and you'll notice how many to, by the way, if you've ever had the time when you've just cried your eyes out and then afterwards you just felt this sense of relief. I'm sure you've had that, right? Why did it feel good after you cried? Because there was all this emotion that was stuffing down that you just needed to let out like a popping the pimple and then from letting it out, the healing process began instantly. Why do kids get, get rid of negative emotions so easily? Because they throw a tantrum. What does a tantrum look like? They're using their body, they're crying, they're just going all over the place, and then afterwards, they're fine. Five minutes later, they're playing with other kids. Five minutes later, they're playing the video game. Five minutes later, they're back to normal because they let the emotion out. You need to literally get yourself in a room and throw a tantrum. You need to focus on whatever it is that you, that, that's been hurting within you, to let it come up and let yourself heal. So I really hope that this video helped you out. Please let me know down below if it did. And also, and also don't just watch this video and don't do anything about it. My challenge to you, my invitation to you is for the next 14 days to sit. 30 minutes, just sit. 
and you'll notice that within the very first few days, probably in the very first session of just sitting down or throwing a tantrum and just letting all this emotion out, instantly you will feel so much better. But there's always more layers to the onion. You peel one layer of the onion off and you feel like you've released a lot of stuff. But then something would trigger you. It will be a trigger through a thought, going back into the past or whatever it is that you're going through. Or maybe it's in the present moment through a person showing up in your life or an event or a circumstance, whatever it is that you're going through that's causing you to go and turn to food as a way to distract yourself. You'll notice, you, you just notice that so much freedom happens from expressing through the body, through letting it out. Let yourself heal. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if, you've, if this video helped you and if you're going to do this. And let me know your experience. Come back to this video when you, when you go ahead and do whatever you need to do. Cry, let out anger, just sit and let whatever emotion comes up. Let me know your experience. I'd love to hear what it is for you. So leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. And until us, and I love you guys, by the way. I really appreciate you guys. I am so damn grateful. And I have a lot more videos coming up. I'm going to be straight after this video. I'm going to be making more videos for you guys. And uh, yeah, just wanted to let you guys know that. But until I see you guys in the very next video, remember to love all living things. And most importantly, love thyself.